Hi Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Now look, there's a video that went up, a Gypsy Tarot Love Spread, okay? I edited that video, there was a phone call on the video and I edited it out twice. And still people are telling me that phone call's left on there. Now, look, this is pissing me off because I'm getting people coming to me, oh, no apologies, no this, no that. I have a very pressured life. I run the YouTube channel. I also run a website business, okay? I've also got my own life, which everybody freaking well has, okay? So for all of you who are bitching on me on the video and saying that you're annoyed that I've left a phone call in, that phone call was left in because I forgot it was there, all right? I forgot that that phone call. And if you notice on the video, and I have no idea how this is happening, because twice I edited, a couple of lovely people came to me on the video and said, there's a phone call Carol left on the video, and, you know, you need to take it out. So I took the video down twice. Twice I took this freaking video down, and I took the phone call out. And I have no idea why that video, why that uh, communication, and I even checked it on YouTube before I uploaded it. So I don't know where this fucking phone call is. I'm sorry for swearing, but, you know, sometimes people have issues that they need to deal with just because I read on YouTube and I have a lot of subscribers and I run a business it doesn't mean everything's fucking hunky-dory so for you guys who are pissing me off and sending nasty messages and telling me how rude and how this and how that we all have a private life and we all have issues that we deal with in our lives, all right? So don't think that just because somebody comes on screen in a load of makeup or dressed really nicely and makes everything look glossy, that the life is glossy behind the lens. Because sometimes we all have our issues to deal with Aries, okay? I'm sorry to get annoyed and I'm sorry that I'm putting up the video like this. But I'm going to record another video for you. Really, I should just leave its ass down and don't bloody well bother, okay? So for those of you who are going to be rude and say, you're left in a... a, 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 a a phone call by sweetie or all this shit oh how rude and this that, and the other for those of you that understood and came to me on an email and said there's a carol there's a phone call left in the video thank you because you did it the right way all right don't make assumptions that because somebody's left something into a video that they couldn't be bothered all right it's not that i couldn't be bothered all right that was a phone call that i was surprised by i actually left it in because it was accidentally left in the video accidentally i took it down if this is what the second time i put the third time i put that video up as a reload and i'd edited it out and still people are coming to me and saying that there's a phone call on the video so i don't know which phone call this is i've just taken the video off i don't have time for this shit i don't have time for this nonsense please don't come on my channel bitching at me for leaving a phone call in unless you know the reasons for it and it was left in by accident so i'm only saying that for the people who are coming to me and bitching on me for a phone call being left in a video it was accidentally accidentally left in i took the video out i edited it twice to ensure that that video was cut and still people are telling me there's a phone call left in the bloody video okay i'm so sorry that this is a very angry uh start to your love reading but at the end of the day i don't need people coming to me and bitching at me on my video okay I've got enough pressures in my everyday life than to deal with that, okay? This is a free freaking reading. You don't pay for it. It's free, all right? It is free. So don't bitch. Be constructive and send a message and say, hey, you left a video, a, video a, a call in there, to which I actually edited that call out twice, which is why the video went up three freaking times. I'm going to put a new video up for you guys, okay? It's a free reading, all right? So understand that as well. You don't pay for it. All right, I didn't come on your paid video and say, oh, and, and take a call when I'm doing a private reading for you. It's a free one. And if there's an accidental video left in there, then I apologise. But at the end of the day, before you know the facts, don't jump to conclusions. And that's for only for the people who are bitching on me on the video and saying how rude, how this, how that. You get the pissing video free. People have lives as well. We've all got lives. We've all got things that we need to deal with. And sometimes when you've got a lot of stuff on your plate, sometimes you do forget to edit a video. Two very lovely ladies came to me and said, Carol, there is a video, a, a private call. One of them said I didn't listen to it. The other one said, just to let you know, there's a private call. Thank you. You know who the hell you are. So thank you very, very much for that. I really do appreciate it. For those of you who are coming to me and bitching to me, 
on the video. I am sorry. All right. Now, Sagittarius had a call left on theirs. I'm sorry if that call is st still left in. I edited it out. I've edited these videos twice, rendered them twice, and still there's a freaking call left on those videos. And I don't know how those calls are still left on the video. I just don't know how that's happening. I really don't when I've edited them twice. We're going to do a quick Celtic Cross love reading for you guys. Universe Spirit. Let me just ground my energies because I'm really quite annoyed by people's reaction to this, especially as it's free. You know, I've just got a good mind not to even bother putting up a love reading because this has made me so cross that people can be so cruel and, you know, it makes such assumptions that, you know, I'm very professional in my work, all right? I spend a lot of time uploading videos for the general public on YouTube. This is what I do for a living. I spend a lot of time doing the best work that I can possibly do, only to find people are coming to me and bitching and being rude, and I don't like it. It was an accident, okay? It was an accident that the prior call was left in. I took down the video twice and edited, and still people are telling me there's a call left in, so I don't know where that call is, because I only remember taking one call, and I wrote it down on the I wrote it down to edit it. And I edited it out twice and still there's a call left on there. So we're just going to abandon that video. I've, I've had enough. <sighs> Universe Spirit, show me. Show me love for Aries in the last two weeks of September. What's coming up in terms of love for Aries? Show me what's coming up in terms of love for Aries. We just do a Celtic cross love reading. What's coming up for Aries? Show me Aries. What's coming up for love for Aries? And you know what? Some of you might even bother, you know, start unsubscribing. That's completely down to you at the end of the day, you know. I do my very best on this channel. I really do. I don't give you some, I don't give you shitty readings and I don't give you some quick-ass five-minute crappy little reading. I really do devote my time to this. So please appreciate knowing if you guys know anything of me that I would never... Never be unprofessional on a video. Universe spirit. Show me what's coming in for Aries. I'm just going to ground myself now. Just take out the energies of what I've said before, universe. And this is, needs to be for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Okay. What's coming in, love-wise, for Aries in the last two weeks of September 2017? 16th to the 30th. Of September 2017. Show me the energies for Aries. Show me Aries. What's coming in for Aries? For love. In a Celtic cross reading. Show me. Alright, we're just going to do a Celtic cross. I'm not going to do the Gypsy spread. We'll just do the Celtic. It's just going to be a lot quicker and easier. Alright, you guys are releasing some pressure here in terms of love. You've got the Page of Pentacles as your challenge. Your challenge with the Page of Pentacles, it could be an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The challenge could also be waiting. Page of Pentacles is, for some of you guys, it might be waiting for communication. Page of Pentacles is notoriously very, very slow when it comes to communicating, for example. It might be the details of what you found out about something here with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles means details and evidence, so it might be the details of something you found out. The reason is the shadow side, so the devil represents some form of a burden, possibly toxic relationship with that devil energy that around you, the energies is releasing it. Around you, you guys have needed to have strength, because strength card it is about having inner confidence and strength and resilience. The most likely outcome, though, is the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So the Nine of Cups in reverse says that a wish will not be fulfilled. I think this is something you guys don't particularly want to release, I think. Because you've got a burden as being the foundation here. So in your foundation, there's the shadow side, the devil card, in the um, in the tarot. As a result of that, the energies will be needing to release something in terms of love. Might be details is your challenge that you found out. It might be that something has moved too slow, too slow communication, that type of thing. It might be an earth sign individual. You've needed to be very strong in the recent past, but you know, which probably won't be fulfilled in terms of love here. Coming in, though, you do have an offer. You've got the Knight of Cups. 
you guys are the magician. So you're starting something new here, which is nice. So you're sitting in your power here as the magician. The world card is... You could experience new love coming in with this Knight of Cups. And as a result of that influence of the world, this would be the greatest love, potentially. Your hopes are no longer to wait for something to materialise. So it might be here that we're seeing with this Page of Pentacles. This could be about communication that's taking a long time. And the Eight of Swords is lovely. You're releasing something. You're letting something go in terms of love here. Okay. Very, very nice reading. Um, why is Aries the Magician? Why is Aries the Magician? Show me. Right. So you're starting something new. You might have had a breakup maybe with that Tower Energy. Something that wasn't stable needed to go. Could have been something you knew coming or it might be something that you didn't know coming. Uh, the shadow side is the, in the foundation. Let's have a look why the shadow side shows up here. Why is the shadow side showing up for the devil card for Aries? Because of the Ace of Cups. So I think this was something to do with a toxic relationship, toxic love. It might be that you gave too much. Sometimes this card here, the devil for love, Aries often represents when you are... Um, Often the shadow side represents when you are um, beholden to something. And it's because of love, feelings. Okay, so these are some very strong feelings, you guys. The root energy is having a very strong feeling. Because the Ace of Cups is about love, falling in love. It's about having feelings, growing love, manifesting love, feeling love for another individual. But the, in your foundation, this is the reason for this here. There's a very strong love here. It might be a karmic bond, karmic tie with another individual. In the recent past, you guys would have needed to have some form of strength here. Let's have a look why. Yeah, there you go. You've had to be strong about pursuing a new direction in life. A fresh start with the full energy showing up here. It might all even be that you've, in the recent past, you've had to be strong because it might be with the full card. Foolishly, some of you guys might have wanted to go back to the same thing. Your challenge area is the Page of Pentacles. And let's have a look at why your challenge area is the Page of Pentacles. Because of the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So the challenge really is to look at the situation from a very responsible point of view. All right, Because with the Nine of Swords, this is something about releasing some form of mental energy or mental burden. Mental worries here. So I feel that your challenge is really to look responsibly at the situation. Because you guys know that if you're looking at it from its most... Uh, you know, common sense basis with this page of pentacles, you know that this is something you can do without. The nine of swords is reversed, which means that you're actually being able to release something quite. And I think here, because, you know, in your foundation, there is a toxic relationship for some of you guys, or some of you guys might feel really bonded to this love here. Okay, you can't quite explain why it is, but it's there nevertheless. And I think as a result of that, you've needed to be strong. And you've needed to be strong because of the fall. Some of you guys might have wanted to be the fall and go back. Some of you guys might be wanting to try and take another route. But you know in your challenge area that, you know, you've got to be responsible around this, all right, with this page of pentacles energy. Because you know that that nine of swords reverse says that you feel better without this energy. Which is why the focus for the last two weeks in September is releasing with that ten of wands. Let's have a look why. Because of the Ace of Swords reverse. There are things that aren't clear to you in this relationship. It might be that somebody's not telling you the truth. Or it might be that somebody's not showing who they truly are. The Ace of Swords in the reverse often means confusion. And it means that you don't see things clearly. But it also means communication from others is not clear. It's not straightforward. And they could be hiding something. The most likely outcome will be the Nine of Cups in the reverse. For this love reading. Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Show me. Because of the Eight of Pentacles. I think that the most likely outcome is, is that you don't get what you want because it's just too much hard work and too much effort. All right, with this Eight of The Eight of Pentacles also represents a time of study. Could be something you found out with the Eight of Pentacles through studying the situation. But I think that the most likely outcome is you don't get what you want in this relationship. Because with the Eight of Pentacles, it's about what you know, what you've learnt. It's a learning card. But it's also, there's a lot of hard work and effort being put into this situation. The immediate future shows the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups the immediate future for Aries and love? 
Right, because of the Five of Cups. So that's interesting. Some of you guys, it might be that you've received an offer of love. It could be the person that whoever it is around you that you're having this issue with. It might be with the Five of Cups that they're offering something. The Five of Cups means to miss someone and feeling sad. So it might be a Pisces individual, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. It could be somebody else. But there's an offer of love coming in because of the Five of Cups. If this isn't someone, then this is you wanting to extend love, perhaps because you miss the person. So you might be wanting still to go back to the same person or you're looking for love on the rebound maybe the world card comes in let's have a look at why the world card is coming in here well wow. because of the six of swords six of wands so this is something great coming in for some of you guys in terms of love with the world energy for some of you guys it will be the ending of a cycle because there's confidence here maybe you're being recognized by others especially if you're going out and searching for love here because you're feeling kind of bereft at whatever it is that's happened here it might be that with the world card you're actually achieving something here because of recognition from others i think if somebody comes in and offers you love for example because with the five of cups it's difficult really could be the same person coming back with these two energies especially if that person is the five of cups might be that you experience the world card so you experience a great conclusion to the situation because of the six of wands victory it might be that you say goodbye with the world card because you feel confident enough to with that six of wands the seven of pentacles is your hopes why is the seven of pentacles aries hopes because of the hermit okay i feel that the six the seven of pentacles is your hopes because you don't know you no longer want to wait for this situation why is that because of the hermit it might be that you've just decided to withdraw you're on a search or on a quest to find something else and the eight of swords is the overall outcome why is the eight of swords the overall outcome for aries show me wow because of the empress okay if it's new love that some of you guys are finding, you're releasing the old with the Eight of Swords because you're developing maybe something with someone new. There's a great attraction between you and somebody else. If you're just releasing love altogether, you're moving on from it. You might here be in search of it as the Knight of Cups because you've lost with that Five of Cups energy in which you'll achieve the world. Great happiness here because you're being recognised. The outcome could show well. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you're releasing this situation because you're attracted to someone else. You're starting to bond maybe with someone else. It could be if somebody's coming in, it might be the same person because they miss you with that Five of Cups. You might, with this uh, World Card again, achieve some form of happiness again because you've had victory the outcome being that you're releasing the old because of the, the empress you're starting to begin again threes represent new beginnings and you're starting to formulate a much more nurturing understanding of each other with this empress and some of you guys it might be that you just do your own thing because you understand that you are the empress okay you're beautiful you're attractive and you're worthy of so much more so that's your reading it's a really nice love reading for you guys um let me just quickly get the Angel's Romance deck. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Aries on this love reading? What is the advice that you have for Aries? What is the advice that you have for Aries on this love Celtic cross reading? Show me. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you guys, it might be you're back with an ex or you're back with someone that you've had some problems with with this engagement card showing up here. Okay. It's telling you to engage in passion. There's passion showing up there. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, it might be unrequited love and it might be needing to move on from that because you are the magician here. And you guys have aspirations to start manifesting possibly new love here because there's been a breakup. I think that in the foundation, it was a very difficult relationship because of feelings. I think you were very bonded to this individual. It might have been that it was a soulmate connection, twin flame connection, uh, karmic ties, that type of thing. You've had to be strong, some of you guys. You might have had to be strong around being the fool, going back to this thing second time around, knowing what you already know. Or it might be you had to be strong in terms of kind of venturing out and looking for new options for love here. I feel that your challenge is to be responsible and look at the situation in the most common sense way that you can because you realise with this Nine of Swords that you're actually feeling better when this person's not around. As a result of that, you guys are actually releasing the energies that have been very, very burdensome with that ten of wands in the reverse because of the ace of swords in the reverse but that's because there's something here that doesn't make sense to you it's either in what somebody's saying to you in their actions 
but just something that doesn't make sense with an ace of swords in the reverse and as a result of that some of you guys the most likely outcome is you won't achieve what you wanted to achieve because of the age of pentacles either about what you've studied in the situation or maybe all the work and hard at work hard work and effort you've had to put into it so if you guys do have an offer of love coming in it could be from the same person because it's because of the five of cups somebody's feeling lost they're feeling lonely they're feeling upset so it might be the same person coming back in which you will achieve the world could be great success because of the six of wands maybe they're now taking you seriously maybe they're now ra recognizing your gifts your bravery and your confidence for some of you guys it could be that you're on the search for love here because you do feel still upset you're on the rebound in which it might be that you still achieve success because you're you know you're meeting people, people are engaging with you with that six of wands, they're recognising who you are. Some of you guys, it might be that, you know, you're on the search for love because you're feeling kind of out in the cold, you're feeling upset with that five of cups, but it might be what you experience is an ending to a cycle here, lessons learned, because you realise for some of you guys, it might be worth going it alone with that energy. Some of you guys, it might be that with the seven of pentacles, you, your hope is no longer to wait because of the hermit card, venturing towards new things, searching for new things, but also the need to withdraw at least a while at the same time. Some of you guys, the overall outcome is the eight of swords releasing some burden, some energy again with that Eight of Swords, so especially mental energy. Some of you guys sitting in your power of the Empress, some of you it might be that you ascend to a higher level with the engagement card in terms of love with the same person. And some of you guys it might be new attraction with the Empress card coming in here. Some of you guys it will be, the angels are saying there'll be engagement. Your love life might be with the same person is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you guys, passion, you need to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy over love especially if you go and get alone and some of you guys it's a case about unrequited love and maybe it's best just to let it go and move on and find something better and decent okay that's your reading guys i'm sorry for the rant at the beginning of the video but i'm sick to death of people not understanding you know the best thing to do is if that call wasn't meant to be left on screen it really really wasn't i've had a lot of things to deal with over the last few months it has been slightly difficult, you know, and at the end of the day, I don't leave calls on video for no reason, you know, I don't just, I don't just think, oh, well, that's done, just put it up, why would anybody do that, I'm not a vlogging channel, you know, I'm a tarot channel, and I do my very best for my, for the people that watch my videos, I really, really do, I don't take the piss, I don't give you shitty little five minute readings, that's not what I'm about, I'm about giving quality, absolute quality, and they're free readings as well, and this isn't for everyone, for those of you that did write to me, especially two very, very nice ladies, if you watch this video, ladies, you know exactly who you are, that came to me, one came and said she didn't watch the call, she just wrote to me straight away, I think it's Deirdre, Deirdre, thank you, sweetie pie, love you, thank you so much for that, can't remember the other girl's name, but she came to me on the first video and said, look, I think you ought to know there's a video left up, you know who you are, because you can't, there was only two people that came to me and told me about this, so they'll know exactly who they are that did that, so thank you, but the other people that are writing words like rude, why didn't she just edit out the video, oh, you've left a private calling, bye sweetie, and all this stuff, you know, get your facts straight don't just assume stuff and and leave it if there's a video fucking left up there then write just write in the comment you left a video you left a call up there did you realize that's all you need to do that's it you don't need to be so rude about it you know because i don't leave calls in my videos like that i would never do that and the fact is, I took down that video. People are saying, why did you take down Aries Gypsy Tarot? One lady, I said, I told her, I said, there was a call left in there and I edited it out. And I edited it twice. So there must have been freaking well two calls left in there or something that I didn't realise. But I've, I've just, you know, I took them out. I took the calls out twice. Twice I did it. And I put it up three times that video and still people are telling me there's a call left on it so i don't know what the hell's happening and i'm now i'm frightened about sagittarius because there was a call in that one that was forgotten but i've been under so much pressure the pressure is starting now to subside thank god but i've been under a lot of pressure and when you're under pressure sometimes and you're we want to make sure that people you get the videos out because a lot of people that watch these videos that really do need the advice for the month so you want to make sure that you don't let people down. I could easily just not bother uploading anything. And you know what? Half of you probably wouldn't care because there's so many tarot readers on YouTube. You can go to any one of them and watch their videos and that's fair enough. But as a responsible, you know, uh, person that works on YouTube, I want to make sure that my videos go out 
to the general public when I say I'll put them out, you know? I don't want to let anybody down. So just give somebody, you know, the benefit of the doubt. And please don't jump to conclusions in future. I'll make sure that if there is... And I had to take that call because I had a feeling that it would be important. My spirit told me to take it. And unfortunately, it was left in by accident. And so many people have seen that video. And you don't think about the embarrassment that's caused to me as well, you know? So... And also, the videos are free. They're free. You didn't pay for it. You didn't pay three ninety nine to watch it. You looked at it for bloody free. You know, it was free. So, just, all you need to do is just send a message. You have to call on the video. Did you, did you realise that? Because I'm not going to leave calls on videos for no reason. Unless I've forgotten to do it. I apologise for my rant, but it just made me really cross... But I kept seeing comments that were so rude about that. And they didn't realise that maybe this person is going through shit. Maybe this person forgot to do it. And I did. And I edited it twice out. And it was still on there. I'm sorry. There's your love reading. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.